Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Know the breath all the way in, all the way out, and then the next breath, and then the next. Notice where you feel it most clearly in the body. Focus your attention there. And then try to make the breath comfortable. You can ask if it's too long or too short, too heavy, too light, too deep, too shallow. You can adjust things so they're just right. It's like fixing food. You don't want it to be too salty, too sweet. You have an idea of what's just right. And that can be nourishing for the body. In the same way as we meditate, we're fixing food for the mind, so you want to fix it just right. Because the food for the mind is what? The Buddha says, contact with the senses and then our intentions and then our consciousness. But the main food is going to be your intentions. You want to develop good intentions. This is why we practice generosity, why we practice virtue, and why we meditate. So we get practice in fixing good food for the mind. Food that gives you a sense of conviction that yes, your actions really do matter. And when you make good choices, it brings good results. When you have that conviction, then other forms of strength develop as well. You stick with the practice, and sticking with it, you have to remember to be mindful, not to forget that you're going to try to develop skillful qualities and abandon unskillful ones. And when you do that, the mind settles down into concentration. That's the most nourishing part of the food regime that the Buddha has for you. It gives you an immediate sense of well-being. Then based on that, even stronger food, discernment. We see the ways in which you're weighing yourself down unnecessarily with, with stress and suffering, and you learn how to stop. This is probably the best way to develop strength of all of them, because otherwise you go down, weighed down, weighed down, weighed down. And no, no wonder you don't have the energy to do good things you know should be done. So you lighten your load. And you find that it's a lot easier to do the good things you know are right. So we nourish the body with good food, we nourish the mind with good food inside. And as we do that, then the mind becomes strong. And when the mind is strong, then the things it knows are right, then it has the ability to do them. The things that it knows are wrong, it has the ability to let them go. Because it's well fed inside. <laughs>